Our next contest of the evening is for the British Super Light title. Introducing first your fighter coming out to the red corner, Lady Disha! And there is a huge contingence of fans for Cleddy Disha. Is not the first guy coming up, so we got to make this man. Cleddy Disha will be able to make this man look in great. One and all currently, but he's playing at 163 pounds. He's at 74 kilos. Coming out to the blue corner, it's Nathan Smith! Double down for the first one there, but this is Lidia. That being an eagle, only dropping one fight and only because of a broken foot. This fight is for the British Super Light title. Introducing first your fighter in the red corner, representing third strike MMA, it's Nathan Smith! And introducing his opponent in the blue corner, representing fighting top team, it's the Albanian Eagle, Clayton Tisha! Isha will be in the blue and black Valley Tudor shorts. Nathan Smith in the gray and black shorts. Nathan Smith chooses to step out and bow, and he comes out in the southpaw stance. Cleddy Disha looking to get back to winning ways. Well, going high early. Well, it's obviously that broken foot didn't make him uh, think twice about the kicks. We have to take a quick timeout. Pinky slipped. Yeah, Cleddy, all three first round finishes. Only one, well, didn't go his way, and it was a doctor's stoppage due to an injury. 
he would love to have all first round stoppages and get to the British super light title. That's a great way of getting there. He's just been able to overwhelm his opponents. Everything is with bad intentions, Clint Edisha, but he does. Oh, look at that, look at that. Lovely Russian hook there. Sneaks right over the shoulder of Nathan Smith. Nathan Smith going for the takedown. Almost gets his foot dragged out for the title. If there's trouble. You see little things that Clint Edisha does really well. He shouldered him off that. Yep. Make sure to keep him away. Dragged the foot out as soon as they ended up in the clinch. It's all about those details. He also doesn't overcommit to anything. He's very patient. Little feints, little shoulder movements. Look at that. Just look at these tiny details. You're exactly right, Steve. He's constantly stepping to his own left. So he's staying away from the right left hand power that is Nathan Smith's. He's also controlling the middle. You see, Clady's in the middle of the cage. He never lets Nathan Smith come forward. And that means Clady's got that, all that room to move. And Nathan Smith is going to, if Clady comes forward, will get backed up and run out of options. Nathan pouring that jab out, trying to mix his tempos. Now standard for a southpaw to step outside the leg of the orthodox fighter and try to land the left hand. And gosh, just so fast with that high kick is Clady Disha. He can do it all, wrestle, kickbox, throw high kicks, and goes straight to the body with a heavy right hand. It's looking a little one sided in this opening, but Nathan Smith is very experienced. He is not out of this fight. He's had kickboxing fights before. He also took a decision win over Roman Porter. He's just late, like, he's kind of putting that jab out there. And I, I like the mix of tempos, but it's just always lazy. He's never pumping it. It's kind of a nothing jab. It is a nothing jab, and that's the problem with it. It's almost like he's waiting for Disha to just, just counter. It's almost like he's waiting to get hurt. I'm going to see Disha go out the first round, Steve. He won't know what to do. He's going to be confused. He's going to be like, what, this keeps going? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a moral victory for Smith if he does it, but he's going to eat a left hand there. And man, is he getting backed up. A big knee lands. And now Deesh is backing it up. Is it going to be a first round finish again? 16 seconds will choose. will prove that. Oh, oh it's a anaconda, anaconda choke. choke. Anaconda choke. He doesn't have it, but... He goes back into to Mount, looking for ground and pound with five seconds to go. Alan Jackson having a good look at it. Oh, wow. so close to being stopped. There's a smile on the face of Nathan Smith. Clady's going to come out fired up for round two. That left hook really snuck through the guard. And just almost sat Nathan Smith down. I saw him look off to the side and just go, wow, what was that? Where did that come from? Replay here. Clady just hipping in, stopping, sprawling to stop the slightly slow takedown. Goes for that gator speed. roll. Gator roll. I love a gator roll. That's very old school, like early 2000s jiu-jitsu. Right? It's like everyone learned that move. And then it kind of disappeared. And it's kind of it's come back again. It's because everyone started wrestling again. Yeah. Which is strange. Uh, we can go into it, but only five percent of takedowns attempted in ADCCs were com were completed. 5%. 20 20 percent of them ended up with back takes or head uh, positions. I see what you mean. It's pretty interesting. I wonder how it compares to like uh, standard freestyle wrestling competition. Because you got to assume most takedowns don't work. Essentially. Mm. Okay, round two. You ready? I would uh, I'd say Clay. He's gone to round two for the first time in his career. I wonder what his cardio is like. But it looks like he's absolutely fresh as a daisy. So. Thing is, when you've got power and you've got technique, what do you got to be afraid of? Look at that! The, it's just hand was pinned to his face. It's just beautiful boxing. And when Nathan countered with a, a really good left hook, it just hit the glove. It's a beautiful technicality from Clady, and he's also circling away. And he's not biting on any feints either. Yeah. You see, that's when you know that that he doesn't. You haven't gained your opponent's respect yet. And now, look at just huge. Right uppercut just misses, glances through the beard of Nathan Smith. Clady wants to knock him out, Steve. He's, uh, he's when he gets his moment, he's looking for a big shot. He's got to remember to set it up with the proper. And there it is, double jab, right hand, double jab, right hand. That's the kind of thing that'll take you far in every single organization in the world right now. 
There's nothing that Nathan Smith throws has any sort of snap on it. It's, it's almost like he's moving in molasses. I'd like to see something just something pop, something give Clint Edisha some pause. Yeah, it's yeah. You're right, Steve. It is yeah. yeah. Moving in molasses. See, it's like it's like you said with the jab, right? It's being pawed out. There's nothing snapping. See, yeah. whereas Cladidisha, the exact opposite. And Clady will mix the tempos. There's a slow jab and a fast jab. Whereas with Nathan, yeah, everything seems slow. I like to see him, and also the corner of Nathan. There's, there's not a huge amount of advice coming his way on how he can mix this up. Kind of no advice going his way. He does, he does move off well to his right side. But, you know, Clady switched for a second there. The pressure of Clady as well. He doesn't really go. He does little half back steps, but he always comes bouncing back in. He's just oh, bothering all the time. A little feints as well. He's very hard to read. Yeah, I like how he's, he's jabbing out and he's bringing that left hook over the top. He jabs right through again. I don't know if he's looking for the counter. 40 seconds left in the second round. And this is where we saw him pour it on last time. About this time, boom. The crowd are willing, Clady, to get a knockout, but he's too wise to overcommit to anything. Superman off the cage. Right into a double leg. 24 seconds left. It's beautiful cage craft as well, you know, like, it's a relatively close round to score a takedown with 20 seconds to go. Just make sure you get the judge from the, the nod from the judges. 10 seconds remaining. I think we're going to see a third round. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Just when you think he can't show you something new, he does. <laughs> oh, wow. Fantastic performance by both fighters. Lady spinning heel kick. Wave there. into the crowd between <laughs> rounds. Maybe he wants the experience. The time in. Lucas Lepienka, fantastic Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt in the corner of Clady Disha, giving him that advice. The third dimension crew, third strike, sorry, crew. And Nathan Smith, seeing how he's got to be two, two pretty big rounds down. He's got to make some adjustments here. Do you like that t shirt, Steve? Look, it eat, says sleep, eat, sleep, wrestle, repeat. Oh, I do. It's pretty cool. It is. Just got to put everything on repeat. So it's obvious what they've been doing in the. Disha camp. Yep. That, that double leg was brilliant. But why wait all round to throw a, you know, a, a Superman punch off the off the back? There you see it right there. You know, jump off the cage, push the foot back. There you go, spinning heel kick right there. There we go, round number three for this British title. Who wants it more? Conditioning's going to come in now. Nathan Smith. Got to be a couple of rounds down here. It's got to be something he can pull out in all of his experience, all of his technical ability. Yeah. Kick jumps up for Disha there. Push kick again. Yeah, everything from Nathan just looks labored. His striking looks a little bit labored. His, his shots with the takedowns have looked labored. He did take some big body shots there in the first round. And there you go. Left hook, right straight. Whereas Clady has just always looked fresh. Yep. You see nothing he's put on him. Look, he still finds the target there as Smith leans hard to his right side. Yeah, even when Clady's swarming in, he puts these little moment pauses so he can see the next shot. He's not just winging it. This must be maddening for Nathan Smith. Just he's kick, he's just kicking me, oh. punching me at will. Clady with a fake kick. It's like almost a fake hook kick, and then came in with a big right. Nathan Smith is tough, man. Yeah, super tough. I wonder how bad those body shots have mounted up in the first round. If they've just kind of taken the wind out of his sails. It's also, I think there's a bit of a significant size difference. Clady's clearly cut a little bit more weight. Very thick. Yep. Oh, nice left hand. Nathan Smith does well to keep his shoulders up, so it just glanced off without the full power. Look, he goes to the body, and then he goes to the right hand. It's, it's just a sign of a good striker, especially a good boxer. They're going to mix the levels, and it's head hunt. Go to the body as well. One minute 20 left of round number three. This could be the first of Clady's fights to go the distance. Another a little cheeky overhand left there, like short left hook. And he can't, can't uh, Disha doing a little bit of a habit he has where he wipes his glove off, off his shorts. 
Oh, there, there, Dee's just biting on some feints there. Now is the time, now is the time for Nathan Smith to push forward with some power. Nathan Smith, right leg has eaten some heavy kicks as well. Bruised up. Is it, is it ever? Oh, jeez. Pushes in, stuns him momentarily. Smith still on the cage. Disha going to the body and he snaps the head back with a, like almost like a jab hook there. And big hands, here we go. Disha just piling it on. Smith is stuck in the corner here, right in front of his own <laughs> teammate. And he's just eating punishment. He drops oh, down. Oh, oh. It's the left hand. It's Disha's night tonight. The coming out party for the British super lightweight champion. And they're pushing forward. They've got to push back. The Albanian fans, they love him. They'd mob him. An excellent moment between these two warriors in the center of the MMA Battle Arena cage. The sky is the limit for Quiddy Disha. Wow. We gotta go for the official announcement. Take in the moment. It's been the Disha Show. Contest at 2 minutes 32 of round number 3. Your winner by knockout, the Albanian!